Okay, so we have a movie here of the Framingham Heart Social Network. Um, and in this particular movie, um, each one of these dots represents a person, and the lines between them represent family and friendship ties. And the very first thing that we noticed in these pictures was that there were clusters of obesity, that there were um, groups, areas, where, where there were many people who were obese and who had sort of close ties with one another, and there were also group areas where there were people who were not obese that had close ties with one another, which suggested to us that there, there, there was possibly this transmission of obesity from one person to another. And in the statistical analysis, what we found was that if your friend, someone that you name as a friend, becomes obese, it increases your likelihood of becoming obese in the next two to four years by 57%. Um, this is extraordinary. But then the other thing that we found was that when two people happened to name one another as friends, that the effect was actually much stronger. Um, when two people name one another as friends, then if one of them becomes obese, it increases the risk to the other one by over 100%. So we thought, for example, that if people are eating together, if they are um, exercising together, um, that maybe one of the reasons why we get this effect is, is because people who are close to one another tend to engage in the same activities. But when we looked at the effect of distance, we found that your friend who's 500 miles away has just as much impact on your obesity as your neighbor next door. And, and so what that suggests is, is that it, this isn't about eating the same meals. This isn't about um, coming into contact with someone frequently. This is about our ideas about what it means to be obese, about what level of weight is healthy, about what level of weight is desirable. Um, we form in our minds um, an ideal weight, right? So we have one for ourselves. We probably, whether we think about it or not, have it for our friends as well, for, our, for members of our family. Um, and if it's the case that we see a lot of people around us getting heavier and we esteem them, they're our friends, then that probably changes our own perception about what an acceptable weight is. It's important to remember that we've not only shown that obesity is contagious, but that thinness is contagious. And so really, whenever you're trying to make your life better, you should try to do it in groups rather than on your own because that's really what's going to help you achieve your own health goals. One of the things that we found in the study was that this phenomenon of one person's obesity affecting another person's obesity extends out three degrees of separation. What that means is not only is it the case that my obesity affects my friends, it affects my friends' friends, it also affects my friends' friends' friends. So this effect extends to a really a large group of people. So when we help one person lose weight, we're not just helping one person, we're helping many. And that needs to be taken into account by um, policy analysts and also by politicians who are trying to decide what the best measures are for, for making the society health healthier.